possibility diagrams and independent events. You will find this on page 635 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Possibility diagrams and independent events. When a random experiment involves two stages, so two events, we can use a rectangular grid called a possibility diagram that shows information about the events in a structured layout. A possibility diagram can help in identify, identifying all the possible combinations of outcomes. Just like the one here. If two dice are rolled, there are many possible outcomes and we must set out the list in an organized way so that there is no risk of missing any. Therefore, we use a possibility diagram like the one on the right where the outcomes will be represented by the blocks. So, this is dice 1, this is dice 2. So, this square will represent one on that one, one on that one. This square will represent two and one. This will represent three and one, and so on. Let's look at an example. When two ordinary dice are rolled, what is the probability that the sum of the two numbers is seven? Okay, first make your possibility space. So there is one to six, one to six, and all this is your possible outcomes. Okay, now the sum of the two numbers is seven. Now let's just check the first one. If I say one plus one, that's only two. Two plus one, that's three. So let's see where we will get our first. Five plus one, it's six. So the first seven will be that little triangle where I marked that one. Six plus one, that will be seven. But also five on this one, two on this one, that will also be seven. So it's that little one. Let me just mark it again, let you see. So it was this one, this one, four plus three, three plus four, but now remember on this dice it was a four and a three. Now it's on this dice the three and on this one the four. And then two plus five and one plus six. So what is your total outcomes? Now there are 36 possible outcomes. Six times six, that's 36. So how many was there with a sum of seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six out of 36 and I can simplify it to one over six. Okay, the next one. At least one prime number appears. Now what is the prime number? Let's mark it in red, it's two it's 3 and it's 5. Remember 1 is not a prime number. Okay, and it's again 2 and 3 and 5. Now what does the word at least mean? It means it must be either on one dice or on both dice. So, so what I will do now, I will first mark, and now let's just take a color, let's take blue. I will first mark all the ones that's having one prime number or more than one. Okay, so that will be one, there will be a double. So go, go, this whole column will be satisfying that condition. So this one, this one, so mark the column. Okay, then mark this column. Then mark this column. That's the this easiest way because there is one, uh, but in this case there's two. So, but at least means either one or two. Okay. Now we go in this row. So it's also this row, and it's this row, and it's this row. And if I did it like this, I actually marked all the possible ones. Now I can just count the blue: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So it will be 27 out of 36 and that will give me an answer of, if I simplify it, 3 quarters. Okay, now the next one. The sum of the two numbers is 7. Okay, it's already, can you see, it's that green ones. 
or more oh so what will be seven or more now if i go I'm, I'm going to rather clean everything because this is a bit more a complicated one let's just clean this okay so the sum of the two numbers is we can use green again seven or more so that will be seven exactly we already did it in the previous one. So if you look at this one, 6 plus 2, oh, that will be 8. So that's the more. So 5 plus 3 is 8. 6 plus 3 is 9. 4 plus 4 is 8. 9, 10. So that's also all more than 7. Can you see what's happening? It's this side, this side. So all this ones to this side will be seven or more. That's the ones. But now comes the other condition. And the difference is three or less. So it can be three or two or one or zero. And now we have to go and see which ones will it now include. So if we say the difference of six and one, that's four. So it's out. But if we say the difference five minus two, oh, that is going to be? 3, so it's in. 6 minus 2 is 4, it's out. 4 minus 3, that's 1, it's in. 5 minus 3, it's 2, it's in. 6 minus 3 is 3, because it can be 3 or less. 4 minus 3, take the big one minus the small one every time, so that will be less than 3. That, uh, 4 minus 3, it's 1. Four mi it can be 0. 5 minus it's 1. 6 minus 4, it's 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. 5 minus 3, it's going to be 2, 1, 0. Uh, 6 minus 5, it's 1. Uh, oh, 6 minus 1, it's 4, it's out. 6 minus, oh, it's 5. 6 minus 2, it's going to be 4, it's out. 6 minus 3, it's going to be 3. And this one also, and this one also, and this one also. So let's just count now the ones who's having a green circle as well as a red circle. So that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that will be 17 out of 36. Okay, I want you to stop the video and do try now 9, number 3. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, just going to move to keep, keep it a little bit, but it doesn't matter. I can just make it a bit smaller. Okay, let's do it. Okay, they start again and say to you, when two ordinary dice are rolled, what's the probability that the prime numbers appear on both? So the best will be, and just not to make the blocks, you can actually do it also just like this. You can say, okay, let's call it dice one. And that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and now we're going to work on dice two. So, dice two. Okay, and now we can do the same. Um, so it's one, two, three. I think I'm going to put a grit on in this one. It's going to help me. Okay. Okay. And then I'm just going to redo this one for us, marking it. Because I think it's going to be easier then. Okay, so let's just do... This is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this is going to be, I just want to see where that block will overflow. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so now I'm just going to use crosses to indicate it. So there is the combination is 2 and 1. I think I'm going to rather use another color to make it a bit more visible. Okay, so let's use green. So this is my outcomes. So this is this is four and one. This is five and one. This is six and one. This is one and two, two and two, three and two, four and two, five and two, six and two. This is going to be one and three. Uh, two and three and so on and you just mark all of them until you have all the possible outcomes so a dot across 
a grid, anything that will help you to identify all of them. Okay, and I'm in my final. Okay, there's my 36 possible outcomes. Now I'll say, a prime number appears on both dice. Okay, so if I look, where is the prime numbers? So, okay, let's, can you recall? It was, okay, let's just draw the mark. Yes, it's all right. And I just have to use another color for that. Three and five. Two, three, and five. So if I look at the prime number that appears on both of them. So let's just, I'm going to take blue. So let's just say I'm going to write it here, uh, both prime. Okay, so it's going to be two and this is both prime. So it's a check that you have a red and a red, otherwise it will not be both. The previous one was at least, so it must either one or two, but this is both. So you have to see a red, red, where red and red cross, where red and red, where red and red, um, red and red. So both of them will be prime. Can you see two and five? Then this one, three and five. And then this one, five and five. So if I'm going to count them, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it will be nine out of 36. And I can simplify it to a quarter. Let's just do that one nice. I think it's when it's too close to the end, it's, but that's a quarter. Okay, then this was number A. Now number B. Let's see number B. Um, if I look at the next one, they say at least one prime number appears. Oh, now it's going to become more because it means it can be either one. It's actually the same as, as I was having there. So now, can you remember how I did that one? I was just going and I marked the whole column because it's now either one prime number or two prime numbers. And I marked this whole column. And I marked this whole column. I must maybe just do this that you don't get confused. This is the dice and there's the, the crosses. Okay, so and then it's this. Okay, so the columns is finished. And then I can go to the rows. This row. This row. And then this row. And then I can start counting. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And it will always be. If it's two dice and there are at least, two, um, um, at least one prime number, the answer will always be um, 27 out of 36. So at least one prime oh, why did I make that one so stupid let's make the one a little bit better okay they don't want to work so at least one prime and that will be 27 over 36 and that can simplify to three quarters okay and then we go to the last one. Only one prime number appears. Oh, and now can you see? Now, now this was, this was at least. Can you see what you can basically do? You can basically take this one and just subtract that one. Okay, because they say only one prime numbers appear. So I basically have to take all of them and scratch the ones which there's two prime, and that will be the ones that I will scratch. But let me show you rather that you can see it yourself. So basically, I just want to see what color will work now. Um, I can basically just do this. So the two prime numbers, I'm just going to scratch. And it will be that one. It will be nine. But let me show you visually. Okay, so I'll scratch that one. Uh, I scratch, okay, it's, it's always the red, 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 red. Now, there is red, red, 
there is red red there is red red okay so I'm scratching all this ones uh, there is red red there is red red there is red red let's see if it was nine one two three four five six seven eight nine so it's actually the ones that's left but you could have done it just like this and let me just get a blue there and show you you could have just say p only one only one prime you could have actually just say that three quarters minus the quarter and that will give you a half and let's count to see if we get the same so now it's the only ones that's not scratched so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and if you go and you say let me just do it here if you say eighteen over thirty six and if you simplify that you get exactly that half so what is the final answer the final answer is a half